What's up everyone? My name is Nick and I'm in my beautiful Jatmahan Cafe because tonight we have a live performance and we're setting up, it's almost ready. But first off, I'm doing an interview with a very special person, a person I consider my good friend. And uh, so let's do this. This is uh, Global Given. Let's start an interview with Mr. Rinning Pizza Perry. All right, so here we are in Jamaan. How are you today? Very good. Very Thank good. you for inviting me here. Thanks for coming here. <laughs> I think this can become more of our place to hang out. like our home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I call it the, the, oh, the clubhouse. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, can you tell me a little bit more about you? I know who you are, I know what you do, but can you maybe tell our viewers a little bit more about yourself? Yeah. Hi, I'm, I'm Rinning Peter Perez. So I'm a Lun Bawang from a tribe, uh, yeah, from a tribe of Lun Bawang, and northern part of Sarawak. We live in Bakalalan, the Bakalalan Island. In yeah. the island. So it's like mm, we are bordering with the uh, Indonesia as well as Sabah, our the Sabah region. So that's where I'm from actually. All right, <laughs> and you're from this beautiful area. And what do you do? What is your job, or what what do you do? Yeah, actually, uh, I have uh, another full-time things I do. I'm an NGO, non-government uh, organization, with an uh, NGO uh, as a social worker. But at the same time, uh, what we're here uh, for. This interesting thing, I'm also re uh, revived and introduced the one instrument, the extinct instrument actually, long forgotten instrument actually, called Tapi from the tribes of Lundbong. It's a family for both good. Many people know about Sape. It's a loot. Tapi. Tapi very is different. <laughs> sape is, is, is very Another. known yeah. internationally. People with the Sape are traveling worldwide to promote Sarawak True. music. And you're playing the Tapi, which is a different kind of yes. instrument. And it's got two strings. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Tapi and maybe the history, the origins of it? Yeah. So, before that, mm. I play Sape. Right. And oh, then, okay. One of the elders of Lumbawang said, Hey, that is not ours. Mm. Ours is Tapi. Since then, there's a journey of reviving and reintroduced Tapi study. So until today. So talking about the history, I have very personal encounter with this instrument. Because my late grandpa, both sides, my mother and my father's side, they are playing or making this instrument. Okay, all right. So it's very interesting. And one of the stories that I still remember, this tapi playing for lullaby, make me sleep when I was still small in the long house. That time we have a long house. And from my mother's side. So my mother's side, I'm from Lundaya in Kalimantan. Okay. <laughs> so Indonesia. So uh, with that story, then I asked my uncle, because I don't have the uh, primary story from my late grandpa. Then my uncle said, yes, you're good man. Get back, he make tapi and play this instrument. So that's your and the roots. His, yeah, and then the history is will be maybe he saw the sape from the other tribes. I can say maybe from tribe of Kenya uh, in the Kalimantan, the right. Indonesia side, and then they inspire to make another, make it different compared to. Sape. So you're saying the Sape was there first? Maybe? Maybe. Hundreds yeah. of years ago Maybe. probably already. And yeah. then you know your your family yes. or the people before Maybe. you, your ancestors thought let's yes. do our own version. Something like that. So but interestingly, if I ask different Sape maker or players, the legend, like legendary Sape now we have like uh the Sape mm -hmm. started from two strings. Yeah. Right. So, so maybe the tapi is the original. We don't, we don't know. know. Yeah. We don't know. And there's no written history yes. dating back so long. Okay, so okay, so let's get into why you started playing. You said a little bit already. Um, what age did you start playing the sape? And then why did you start playing the tapi, which you already said? Yeah. And who inspired you to do the move? Yeah. So to the other actually, when I started playing uh, sape, it was very let. I, I guess you never relax. It's about around 2007 like that when I started grow my hair like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the traditional, we call it pigtail. Okay. Yeah. 
style. I like but it. I, I want my no, son no, no, to, to wear like this as well, but my wife doesn't allow it. <laughs> Since then, then people ask me, you know how to dance, right? Mm, no, just a little bit. Then I said, why don't I pick up some bed? Mm. So since then, I play some bed. After about a few years, then I encountered with uh, what I, meant, I mentioned just now. One of the elder from Bawang said, hey, I was just a bit. So since then, I'm just start the journey looking for tapi and then got one after that not only playing and making the tapi you make them as well yes i make the tapi myself right. so that is because of when i see um, a lot of the uncles who are still alive during that time but they don't really making tapi now because they are really old and i feel like hey, nobody continue this legacy so right. why don't i take up just not only playing just make also make tapi lah. And then what inspired me is there's one uncle, left uncle, uh, he just passed away last year from one of the village in Lawas. He said, I ever play this instrument, tapi instrument, at the function, uh, Sarawak State function. All right. And I asked him, what date is that? Or what year? 1980 something, he said. Wow. I said, why ago. people don't look at this instrument? I said, mm. why they? Because he already did so into the. This, in front of the prime minister right, functions, right. and then even he wrote on the back of his tapi, T A P I, tapi, meaning that, hey, yeah, this is the correct the spelling yeah, and yeah, correct yeah. pronunciation. T A P I. So anytime he wants to introduce, he said that this is good. So he's the one who inspired me. Okay, was he also the person that taught you how to play, or you learned it yourself? I learned from him because I has his own tapi. Right. How to make the tapi? I learned from him. Then I went through so many interviews with him. But I don't really learn how to play from him mm -hmm. because the problem with him is that time is uh, he cannot see like right. So he can hear. So when I gave his tapi, the one that somebody gave to me, mm -hmm. then he said, "Yeah, this is mine." Then he play. Then I listen. That's the tune, that's it. Because that one of the tune is very familiar. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> what do you do yeah. with this? Yeah. Okay, and uh, well, can we have a look at uh, one of them? Okay. There's, there's three here. So... Okay. okay. This is my one man. You, you made this yourself. Yeah. Okay, beautiful instrument. And... Okay, so you, you play this on your own? Sometimes? Yeah. And you also have a band? Yes. What's your band called again? So my band called uh, Bata Udu. Bata, Bata Udu, Udu means in Lumbawang is a green. Green. So at the same time, it's Jiao. At the same time, I'm the green activist. Uh. <laughs> and most of the tune and some of my uh, composition is an uh, original composition. It's uh, about environment actually. Right. How to take care of environment, how the beauty is of the environment. Right. So yeah, you can hear that tune. I think I always play here in Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so catchy. Like right? even when when I open up, I'll play. Your, it's, it's got an album on Spotify. You can check it out. Ah, yes. And I play it. It's just so nice to listen to. And okay, so going back to your band, why did you pick those band members and their instruments? So what instruments are in that band, and why did you pick them to go in your band? Yeah, before that, as I mentioned before, I play with the band with the sake. Mm -hmm. The band is only about over 10 years. After that, we moved to Tapi. So I told them the the reason we have this band is because we want to help me to revive yeah. these instruments. So most of the instrument that we use is I have Tapi of Dunbawa, I have Peku of Dunbawa, I have Tubung actually. Mm -hmm. It's a percussion of Dunbawa, right? And then add on with the modern music like guitar, bass. drum, bass. Yeah. Like Nice to so, make it a yes. full picture. Yeah. Basically, so like our our objective is we have this band because of we want to promote this instrument. Right, it's a support band yes. to push this instrument out into the world. Second is bring our message about the environment. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yes. Yeah. Good. All right. Um, so you promoting this instrument, right? Uh, what are the challenges that you face? Um, in doing so, right? So, of course, the sape is heavily being pushed as Sarawak's uh, main instrument, I would say, uh, internationally. And you trying to push this out into the world, what are your challenges that we are facing? This is my seven years right. of reviving this instrument. And I give myself ten years, right. so meaning that about three more years for me to see where this tapi. How far that we go, goes, and then yeah, 
the some of the challenges is uh, how to bring this in the mainstream. You know, like you mentioned just now, is uh, every icon sape, every promotion yes. po yeah. posters of sape. But 2022, with the Borneo Boat Boat Loot Revival, we have this organization. All the Borneo Boat Loot we revive, one of it is Tapi. We are given the opportunity to appear in the Forest Home Music Festival. Mm. But I performed Tapi for the first time, but that one is only for highlight. Right. <laughs> Five minute performance. Yeah, back to Bible. Yes, sir. Because we have to bow on Bible. Okay. Three time mentioned TAPI. Okay. And the translator is. A missionary from Australia. Right. After Second World War, starting the translation. So meaning that this is because he stayed with the Nobawa in in Long Sumado. Right. Yep. And then he started uh, the translate. Then he started translate and then put the word tapi for the instrument using by King David. Yep. And for me, it's like okay, this is a confirmation. Then I tell the Nobawa people, this is ours, please. This right. is ours. And then someone has a tune. Mm -hmm. Follow this tapi. That we don't. That we don't want to go so good. Whenever I go to meet them, yes. <laughs> whenever we, whenever I go to to different part of the Bawang, Indonesia, Sabah, or Sarawak, when I sing the tune, they can identify. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's the meaning. That it's ours. So that is my first challenge, lah. At the beginning, but hopefully after ten years, I can. We can see that There's not only more outside the Bawang community uh, that already accept this, I can still they accept this after yeah. the forest for the festival, but my own people they say yes, that I will. and more and more young people want to take part. Right, take so what would you tell the young people who want to learn and where can they learn how yeah. to play this? <laughs> how, how many people play this instrument at Taiwan now or learning? Okay, I know, have roughly. <laughs> yeah, roughly, I have a few prodigy back in Lawas, my home now. Mm -hmm about 10 of them, right? and they have their own tapi. Mm -hmm. And I have one school adopt tapi, one of their pilot project, right? in Lawas also, mm -hmm. where is majority Lun Bawang. Right. So I can consider I have about 20 young people of Lun Bawang. More than 10 years ago. 20 more than 10 years ago. And then yeah. in Kuching, in Kuching, of course, my Sampet friend is, they know how to play. Yep. So I have a few here. I have uh, three of them here. Together, one, one in the with the band. So there's 20 to 30 people that play At this least. instrument now. Okay, so in three years, it'll be 50, 60, 70. Wow, thank you for that. Well, that's what we need to do here. I'm trying to promote your, your beautiful instrument. Thank you for Okay, and then last question. Are there any projects you're working on in the future? And where can people see you play live? Uh, do you have any events or projects you're working on? Yeah. And yes, where can people see you play in your band? So beside beside I'm uh, I'm now uh, having a workshop on playing tapping okay. uh, physically. I also do it online. Mm -hmm. So uh, Zoom over Zoom. So I will invite different people who are interested in playing this instrument. And for example, I have there's one guy from all the way from Canada. Mm -hmm. He got the, the tapi, wow. and then he said he wants to learn to play this tapi. So I said I will arrange a time for you, yep. and we do it online, online. And the next project for the band, not for me myself, for the band yeah. actually, uh, we will come out with this, you know the tune, Pulung Tau, Pulung Tau, it's about our forest, Pulung Tau. Right. Yeah. We will make it in reggae. Ah, so wait genius. for that, that will be coming soon, and then we will release our first band single. Okay. Uh, we have other single, but this is on just uh, an alternative for social media like YouTube. But this one is proper recording, okay. and we we'll release it soon. Okay. And then we're gonna make a song together as well, right? <laughs> that would my dream come true. <laughs> and Paris, I want to say thank you for coming down. Thank you for doing thank this you. video with me. And here is some footage of tonight's live performance. So enjoy.
But today you see me, I prepare here three set men and I play some modern song at all. All right. Bye.